What are the main components of a battery electric truck? Let's start with the energy storage part. The vehicle is equipped with three to six lithium ion batteries. The total capacity of onboard energy will depend on the number of batteries installed on the vehicle and their capacity. It is direct current that is stored in the batteries with a nominal voltage of 600 volts, which is called traction voltage. After storage, the energy is distributed in the vehicle. This is the role of the junction boxes that connect all the elements supplied with traction voltage. Here again, the number of junction boxes will depend on the configuration of the vehicle, as they have a limited number of inputs and outputs. As far as the traction of the vehicle is concerned, the 600 volts direct current is converted into 400 volts alternating current to supply the electric engine. This conversion is performed by a converter, EMD. Vehicles can be equipped with several electric engines depending on the needed power. For each engine, a converter controller is required. After the engine part, there is a two gears gearbox, which will transmit the movement to the axle. The reverse gear is not provided by the gearbox. It is simply a reversal of the engine supply via an electric box to change the sense of rotation. This powertrain works in both directions. It can make the vehicle move forward by consuming electrical energy or slow it down by generating a current during braking or descent phases with the vehicle's inertia. In this case, the engine becomes a generator. That's why it's called an electric machine. This allows to recover energy and to gain in autonomy. Regarding the charging part of the vehicle, the CCS, Combined Charging System, socket allows a direct current, DC, or alternating current, AC, charge. It is the charging switch unit, CSU, that will manage the charging modes. This unit also allows the CCS plug to be switched off when the vehicle is not being charged. Alternating current, AC, charging is slower. To be stored in the batteries, it requires the current to be converted to direct current, DC, within the vehicle. This is the role of onboard chargers. DC charging is much faster because the AC-DC conversion has already been done within the charger. The current can therefore be stored directly. On a battery electric truck, some systems operate at 24 volts, such as the thermal management system, the air compression system, the steering pump, or the cabin power supply. To do this, the voltage from the traction batteries is recovered and converted to charge small batteries that will supply the 24-volt circuit. Depending on its equipment, the vehicle can be equipped with an electric power takeoff called EPTO, which is an electric machine supplied with traction voltage. Part of the components that make up a battery electric truck are housed in the modular power box, MPB. With a shape similar to an internal combustion engine, this part fits perfectly under the cabin and facilitates the design of the vehicle.